All right, so in the past you may have seen me do uh, Goodwill videos where I've just kind of found these weird bags. Uh, they're kind of usually like in the lower shelving area. Um, you really got to dig around in a Goodwill. Um, this might be a little bit of a long video, so this is a warning. This is my warning where I warn you this will be a long video. Um, I have one bag, uh, petite bag, and very big bag. So these ran, the first one was eight bucks, uh, second one was actually two dollars, and then the third one was ten bucks. Uh, so I probably spent about twenty bucks on all this stuff. Um, but they're pretty loaded. Um, I'm gonna open them up and see what's inside. So here's bag number one. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. So this guy... Looks like Halloween stampers. What was the retail on this back when it was sold? No clue. Uh, we have this Halloween headband. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. So there's one and two. Then uh, craft stick bats. I thought maybe this was a tampon in there. <laughs> so that's eh. Um, spider rings, so that's cool. And uh, glow in the dark spiders. I would assume these bags probably ran like two to three bucks when they were sold in stores is my guess. Uh, a vampire lip whistle. Uh, Halloween glasses. It's cool. Oh, this is nice. Uh, color change ghost. He ran two bucks. The face looks not so good though. Uh, Halloween bats. So that's actually pretty cool. These are nice. Uh, God, I wonder what store. I feel like this is like a Big Lots or a Rite Aid or who knows what. Uh, some weird little pumpkin plush thing. Uh, slime with eyeballs. That's really cool. Uh, Halloween pencils. It's nice. Halloween Mardi Gras beads. Uh, little wind up Halloween toys. And there is a lot loaded in this bag. Uh, wall climbing insects. More beads. Glowing pendants. Uh, Halloween mini squeeze. They feel very squishy. Uh, bend and twist game. If you can't afford, uh, oh my god, <laughs> it's a Twister. Yeah, I think it's Twister. Wow, I, I'm having an elderly moment at the moment. Uh, Halloween loot bags. That's neat. There's a uh, one, two, three, four. Four bags in there, so it's cool. Uh, 
Happy Halloween sticker book. A lot of this stuff I'm probably just going to throw in my booth for like a dollar or something just to get rid of it, I guess. Uh, pin the nose. Little Halloween party games. And that's it. Uh, and then you have little prize award things. Cool. All right, so that was bag number one. That took five minutes to go through all that for $8. That was, I feel like, a pretty gosh darn good deal. Um, Goodwill's been pretty overpriced lately, but that, I'm pleased. That was actually fun going through all that. Uh, so here's bag number two, which uh, probably won't be as cool, but there might be cooler stuff in here. I don't know. Uh, we have a little bag. Uh, this little tote ran a dollar at some point. Uh, we have this thing. It's like a maybe an ornament. It's kind of cool. Uh, stickers that Goodwill was trying to charge a dollar for these. Uh, a sticker that fell off, I guess. Uh, this Frankenstein with a busted hand. He has no hand. That's sad. Uh, there's kind of a cool looking little mummy. Oriental Trading Company. Uh, I think they do a lot of Halloween stuff. Um, the cookie cutter thing, I guess, for a pumpkin. Uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> it's filthy. Top teeth, but they're kind of dirty. I don't know what these were used for, but it's dirty garbage uh i this is from a goodwill so i would not put it in my mouth that it's not been sealed so i probably gonna throw that away and this is kind of cool uh, not really much info on this but it's kind of like this cool little witch thing so oh, it's nice. It's witchy. Oh, and then there's Frankenstein's hand. I might be able to fix him. Can I do it? I could maybe take some super glue and it might it might work. I don't know, but that Frankenstein looks really it looks like the, the dude from Family Guy with the big chin. As Frankenstein. Okay, so that was everything that was in the uh, $2 bag. Uh, we're now at eight minutes. <laughs> so for entertainment purposes, this has been fun. Uh, so let's see what's in this bag. Um, this one was 10 bucks. I don't know what, I think this is a candle of some sort. Shouldn't smell things, but it doesn't smell pleasant. But I'm assuming it's a candle. There's a wick on the top. I mean, it's kind of cool, but all right. Uh, so that's piece number one. There's a cool little Halloween bucket. Uh, this, I, I, this could be something. This is interesting. It looks kind of vintage-y. There's not much info on it. Um, it's strange. Yeah, this could be something vintage. I'll have to research it and see if there's any information on it. Or this could be something crazy and handmade, but the face is, uh, interesting. So it's a cool find in there. Uh, 
This ghost is kind of neat. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like a strange candle for this one, maybe. <laughs> the face on that thing. Wow, look at that thing. That is insane. Yeah, I think that's a candle for sure, but yeah, it looks cool, but that face is definitely like smushed in. Okay, what else do we have here? So yeah, these are, I feel like these are just kind of old vintage kind of, not vintage, but I, I mean, I don't know. He's got little stub hands. So it's kind of cool. I mean, we're, you know, for 10 bucks, this has been pretty decent so far. Um, this is interesting. I don't know what this is. Oh, there we go. It's like a check in the box kind of thing, but I don't know what issue. That is strange. All right, that's kind of cool. Uh, this is somebody's Halloween thing they made back in 1998. So, uh, whoever SHF is, I own your weird pumpkin doodle thing. Weird. This is uh, someone else's homemade thing, but this is actually kind of cool looking. Oh, let me get it out of here. Uh, Dolores in the year 89, actually. So this was made in 1989 by someone named Dolores. This is actually pretty cool looking. Especially the pumpkin right there. It's pretty nice in the face. Yeah, this is actually a pretty cool piece for what it is. Now this, ooh, what is, th this actually has some weight to it. The tin looks pretty vintage, it's cool looking. Um, let's see what's inside. Hopefully something doesn't kill me. Oh, it's a candle that's been used. <laughs> oh, it smells terrible. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat, but the tin's really cool looking. As you can see. Uh, here's some really janky skeleton. It's wiggly. And a little yarn pumpkin thing kind of has that Rossboro look to it especially the orange and the black it's pretty cool here's some weird scarecrow thing this is a little dingle pumpkin a little skull pail. Hmm. I wonder if this is like a McDonald's toy or something at some point. It looks kind of like from a kid's meal back in the day. It's pretty cool looking. Let me see if we can get up there. And there's some mystery substance on it that's gross. Weird little ghost container. Yeah, a lot of this stuff I'm probably going to shove in my store for like a dollar just to get it out of here. Uh, it's kind of cool. Little pumpkin and there's a... Uh, 
This is actually pretty cool looking, whatever this is. And this is a, I think a candle thing. And we're getting down to the end here. This is a strange one right here. A lot of this stuff I'm just gonna shove in my store for a dollar or something. That's why I have my store. Hmm. I mean, this is another, I, f I really feel like this is like from a McDonald's meal or something, but this is actually pretty cool. I would probably say uh, these two are probably my favorite pieces out of it. Whoop. I don't know where the other way, oh, yeah, here we go. These are actually pretty awesome. So these two are really cool. I just feel like maybe they're from a kid's meal back in the day. There's really not much info on them or anything on the bottom or anything, but yeah. And here's another uh, candle thing. Hmm. So there's two of these, so they are, must be mass produced or something. So I'll have to go see if there's any information on these things, but they're pretty neat. They feel weird. Then, oh, here's another one of these little pumpkin things. This one's a little black cat. Does it squeak? Oh, it does squeak. That's cute. Yeah, so um, value-wise for 20 bucks, that was quite a bit of stuff. <laughs> so if you do go to a Goodwill and you see any of those weird bags, they, those are kind of the best values. It's almost like someone in the back is just like, look, I don't want to deal with pricing this stuff. So I'm just going to dump a whole bunch of this Halloween crap in this bag and put it out. Um, usually you can kind of see what's in there, but a lot of it's kind of buried. Like there, there is a lot of stuff buried in that bag and I had to go through it. So um, and for this is actually pretty fun like the witch I couldn't even see this face in the bag So it was kind of good that I got it just to actually see what was in there. So um, I Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun for me just kind of going through all this fun stuff So a lot of pieces in there um, But yeah, that's it for this video. So if you see any of these mystery bags at a goodwill uh, Roll the dice and grab one. It can be a, a lot of fun to see what's in there. So Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry that it's very long, but it was a journey of opening other people's junk. All right, that's it. Uh, and also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hey, come on, hit that subscribe button.